<laughs> Californians aren't very good at it. Here's my impression of someone from San Francisco getting angry. Someone from San Francisco getting angry. saying no. Some of the Bay Area saying no. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you. Because I went, I was, uh, I lived, I, I did some time in Los Angeles. And, uh, <laughs> and um, I, missed, I missed a lot of things about San Francisco when I lived down there. I especially missed the gay pride parade. And they have one down there, it's called the Oscars. <laughs> it's not the same, it's not to even come close to the pageantry that we have. There's no gay racist hate groups though, that's good. Right? There's no pink supremacists. <laughs> you never hear, we're here, we're queer, we're getting used to it, Jew! <laughs> the black man and the Jew are trying to steal your fashion sense! You don't see that. <laughs> but I moved back to San Francisco, and uh, I would not recommend that. <laughs> I left. Uh, I left a really nice, cheap apartment in a really good neighborhood, and I moved and moved back to a really shitty apartment in a really scary neighborhood. And I lived. Uh, for, I lived right next to one of these methamphetamine satanic junkies. And I hate to use the term white trash. I think it's really racist. So I'll just say non-ethnic compost. <laughs> Morning, I'd wake up this woman screaming, Shut up! Why did you just kill me? This thing that guy should kill me! Lying in bed, oh shut up and kill her. <laughs> I gotta wake up in an hour and write some jokes. I can't deal with this right now. Every night I would turn the show Cops to see if it worked out, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I like, that, that's the very first reality TV show, Cops. You can hate it for that, too. It's a horrible show. And it's, first of all, it's not reality, because they edit these things, and they don't use every piece of footage. I would love to see, like, the end of the season Cops blooper reel. Wouldn't that be great? Yeah. Just a big fat cop standing there. Look at them. All a bunch of dirty little monkeys. <laughs> like to shoot them out on the head one by... Hey, that's not on, is it? <laughs> Jesus Christ, got this boy, you idiot! Was it on now? Okay, well, we've secured the playground. <laughs> I hate cops, but I live in a really bad neighborhood, so I never see them. It works out. <laughs> I, I live in a, it's t I found a cockroach in my apartment the other day. A dead cockroach. Didn't surprise me that I had cockroaches, but the fact that it was dead <laughs> was a little unsettling. I mean, what kind of a shithole do I live in? <laughs> Roaches die of natural causes. <laughs> Fed it. I'm sure the autopsy didn't find it died of hepatitis or <laughs> shame and embarrassment. I don't know. It's just I live in a little box and I'm lonely. I don't I love pets. I would love to, but I'm allergic to cats and I could never own a dog in my place. It's too small, it's cruel, you know? And uh, I need my privacy. I can I can never masturbate in front of a dog. Because <laughs> they smell fear. <laughs> I just hope I don't die masturbating. That would be really. Well, that's all I care about. <laughs> that would be kind of awkward. So I think I'd probably end up haunting the place because I believe in that crap. You know, just wandering through the hallway because I wouldn't pass over till I came. You know. <laughs> Here he's in this room, he's very lonely. He's a lonely spirit. Oh, spirit, spirit, come into the light, spirit. Come into the school. <laughs> this house is clean. <laughs> How come um, so many Christians are for the death penalty? Yeah, I, I can never figure that one out. I mean, it's like they don't even read their own cliff notes. <laughs> it's not a deterrent to crime. That's my point. But the death penalty. It's not a moral issue with me. It's totally logical. Because we don't fear death enough to make it 
a deterrent of crime. What's the number one human fear? Anybody know? Public speaking. Here's my thought. Get all the serial killers, mass murderers, make them do a comedy tour. <laughs> Call it America's Funniest Most Wanted. And you would have like the victim family out front heckling. It would be the worst possible gig. Like every night would be like a guesto. <laughs> Because let's face it, if you think the Jeffrey Dahmer jokes are bad, how about Jeffrey Dahmer jokes by Jeffrey Dahmer, you know? I, mean? I wrote a book, it's a cookbook. Boom! And your feature act, Mr. Scott Peterson. Dave's weird! And your headliner, Mr. Summers himself, David Berkowitz, everybody! Dogs and cats are different. Because cats don't tell you to kill people. Boom! Screw you, Berkowitz! You killed my sister! It'd just be the fuck, it's great for the families. It's be like a night out of just closure and chicken wings, you know? Just, 